are you? It was difficult to tell who he was, so that is why they asked. He didn't look like anyone famous or important, so they asked again. Who are you? They had heard about him, of course. There were hundreds who had come into the city to say they had been out to see him, so the authorities wanted to know who he was. Who are you? Given he lived in the wilderness, wore camel skins and ate locusts wrapped in wild honey, they couldn't imagine he was anyone significant, yet everyone was talking about him. And that made the authorities frightened. Who are you? Their question wasn't being answered, so they changed it. Are you the Messiah? They had heard people say he was. No, I am not the Messiah. Are you Elijah? No, I am not Elijah. Are you the prophet? No, I am not the prophet. The authorities looked at each other confused and then at the large following he had. He must be someone. Come on, give us an answer. Who are you? He looked at the religious folk all dressed in their heavy material, sweating under the hot sun, paused and then said, I am the voice. They looked even more confused. So he went on, crying out in the wilderness. They looked at him, expecting something clearer. Make straight the way of the Lord. Why are you out in the desert then? They asked because they were getting nothing clear out of him, nothing that made sense. So they thought they needn't be too worried. Don't be concerned about me, he said. There was a gasp of relief. Think about the one who comes after me, whose sandals I am not fit to untie. I am only a witness. He's already here among you. And the dread in their stomachs returned.